Hey guys, today I'm going to explain you how you can add a master detail page in your blank application. Then I will show you how you can add a page into master detail app. This is the project which gets generated when you select master detail template when you create application through Visual Studio. And this app is set up differently than when you add a master detail page into a blank application. So I'm going to show you that. Okay, so let's just get started with adding a master detail page into your blank application. So I'm going to select master detail app page here and call it as app master detail page. And when I click on add, you can see that there are four files which got added into my solution. I'm going to explain what these files are. But first, let's go ahead and change our startup page to point it to master detail app. Okay, I'm going to run this application and then we'll see that it will, uh, and then I will explain what those pages are. Awesome. So when the when the application loads, it loads a default detail page, which is here. You can see the label, which you can see on the screen, which is here. And then when you uh, right swipe here, you can see the list view, the menu bar here, menu items. You can get those menu items by clicking on that ham hamburger too. And you can list, you can see all the pages listed down here. And those pages are mentioned in this master page. You can see these pages are mentioned here. Awesome. So, and there's this last file which is added, which is called as app master detail page master menu item. I will explain you what this file does is, but before that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this page one um, um, list item and see what the application does. When I click on it, the system will break. The application will break, it'll throw an error saying that it's not able to cast the target type into a page. So why is it throwing that error? The reason why it's throwing that error is when we click on the list view item, it's uh, it's taking the item and it's trying to convert into app master detail page master menu item which is this class, but it's not assigning the target type to it. Uh, the, the way I know it is because it's, it doesn't have, when it's trying to convert this target type into page, it throws an exception. So how do we fix that? To fix that, we have to go to our master page, um, master page here. And when we are trying to add menus into our master page, we should mention the target type for every page that we're initializing here. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to say target type equal to type of type of labels. So what I'm trying to do here is when I click on this page one, when I click on this page one, then when I click on this page one, then it should take the target type as label page and then navigate, navigate to that page. Awesome. So let's run this and see what, uh, what it does. So when I run it, it will show the detail page like it showed for the first time. And then I'm going to go on the page menu item, page one menu item and click and see what it does. Cool. So when I click on this page one now, it will now navigate to the labels page, which we created in our first tutorial. Awesome. So let's go ahead and add other pages into our menu. So I'm going to uh, copy paste this couple of times and get rid of this fifth page because I don't really need this page. And call it as entries this one as buttons this one as images and then change the title to
Awesome. So now that we have added our pages into our menu, then I we don't need this default page which got added when we added the master detail page. So I'm gonna get rid of this app master detail page detail. So I'm gonna delete. But make sure that after you delete it, the master detail page is by default uh, showing the page detail which was added through Visual Studio. Instead of that, I wanna show images now. Awesome. Now let's run this and see how it looks like. When I run it, it will show images as the default page. There you go. Images as the default page. And when I click on labels, it will take me to the labels page. When I click on entries, it will take me to the entries page. When I click on buttons, it will take me to the button page. And when I click on these buttons, these are going to work the same way. This is not going to change. And when I click on images, it's going to take me to images page. Awesome, so that's how you add a master detail page into your blank application. Now let's jump to this master detail app and see how it works. Before I jump into adding a page, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run this application and show you how this application is set up. So when I run this application, it will show the default page where it lists down all the items, first item, second item, third item. And, uh, and when I click on the hamburger, it'll show me browse and about two menu items. Um, and then this, uh, this, this page is this items page. And when I click on it, it is the item detail page. When I go back, when I click on add, it is the new item page. And uh, the about page is right here. So what we are trying to do here is we are trying to add our page into this application. So first we have to find a master detail space. This is, that's the main page. So when I click on this main page, you can see the main page is a master detail page. And uh, we have this menu page where we are adding the menu. So we are we have to add a menu item where we show our page. First, we should add our page here. So I'm gonna add a page. I'm gonna call the content page as curious drive and add this page. Awesome. And when I added this page, I'm gonna called uh, welcome to Zambin instead of I think I added a content class so let's delete that content class I'm gonna add a content page content page sorry about that I'm gonna say curious drive and add it when I add it I will change the label to curious drive And I'm going to make the font size font size large. Awesome. Now we want to add this page into our menu item. So before we do that, we need to add this keyword drive page into this item. I'm gonna call it as curious drive. it so that I can reuse it again. Cool. Now that you've added the menu item type, let's go ahead and add the menu. And I'm going to copy this and paste it. I'm going to say curious drive and the type is your title is curious drive 2. Nice. And when we click on it, when you click on this menu item, it goes to this navigate from menu. Um, from menu function. So let's go to that function and copy this one case and put it here. And I'm gonna say it's a curious drive. And when you click on it, you should go to curious drive page. Awesome. Let's run this and see what how it looks like.
So when I run it, it will show the default page where it lists down all the items. And then when I click on this hamburger, you can see the curious drive is added into the menu list. And when I click on it, it will take me to my page where it shows welcome to your drive. So that's how you add a menu page into master app. Um, in my next video, I'm going to talk about list view and collection views. So yeah, thanks for watching the video and stay tuned. Bye.